Hello everyone, welcome back to our Retiring Wax channel. I'm Chloe and I'm going to be talking to you today about blogs. Blogs are vitally important for the growth of your chiropractic practice and we have four big reasons today that we're going to talk about, so let's get into it. The first thing is that your blog is going to boost your SEO. Your SEO is your search engine optimization and basically what that means is when people search for your practice it'll either pop up somewhere on like the first page or maybe it won't be until page 14. And what you want is for it to be on page one so that when people type in a chiropractic practice near Milwaukee, yours is right away at the top so that they find yours first, click on it first, look into your practice before looking into anybody else's. And there you go, you just got possibly another patient. So that's what you want. And one of the greatest things about blogging is that if you're using the correct keywords, this can really boost um, your SEO and the likelihood of you appearing on that first page when people search for a chiropractic practice. The next thing that it does is it drives traffic to your website. Basically, if you are sharing your blog posts on Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, anything like that, people are going to be clicking on them if they like the content and then they're going to be linked to your blog which is part of your website and so then they can see oh who posted this interesting blog post and then they can scroll through your website and figure out more about your practice and get to know your practice a little bit more and then when they need a chiropractor or decide that they want to go they have heard about your company have built kind of a relationship with your company and they're more likely to come and stop it the next thing is that it develops, uh, helps you develop better relationship with your with your patients. So if you are showing that you're a resource and you want to help your patients, you are wanting to share all this necessary information with them, they are going to be more trusting of you and your practice, and they're going to be seeing you as a helpful resource for them, not just a business, not just um, a fit, like a faceless company. Um, instead, they're going to see your personality, um, the different insights that you have, and they're going to see you as an expert and, again, a resource. And then finally, uh, it's going to help you build your brand organically. So this kind of goes back to really all of them, but especially to driving traffic to your website, is that if people are finding your blog posts, wherever on the internet and all the different cracks and corners, they are going to be seeing your content and you are going to naturally, without paying for anything, get more traffic to your website. And hopefully then, because of all the work that you've done, you will be getting more patients. Again, without having to pay for anything, it's all organic. So hopefully that helps you understand a little bit more about why you should blog. To get started, one of the best things you can do is just Find keywords that are important to your business, um, keywords that people are searching a lot in your area, and then developing a blog based off that. So if you don't know where to start, that's a great place because that's going to help boost your SEO and that's going to be really great for the growth of your brand and the growth of your practice. Uh, if this is something that you're not really sure about, you can always contact us and we can help you. Otherwise, you can also just write a blog about a frequently asked question or something that you know that your patients would really find interesting or necessary. If you need uh, any blog ideas or social media content ideas, we do have those on our blog, so you can definitely look through those if you need ideas. Otherwise, the best advice that we have for you is just get started and commit to a regular posting so that you can start building up those blogs and those archives of blogs so that you can start building your brand. And if it starts really slow, that's fine. Don't be discouraged. Just keep going. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.